Hello and welcome back to another FC24 player review. Today's player review is for the brand new moment, Manuel Benson, so let's get into it. As always, I start off with the team that I used in this review. Now, this is actually my Road to R9 squad. I know I haven't actually uploaded on it for quite a while, but it is coming back this weekend. And you can see I'm using Benson up at right wing. One thing that I don't quite understand on this game is why they've called him Benson Manuel because literally anywhere else he's deemed as Manuel Benson so EA please just change that it really does bug me but with that being said let's look at my stats after my three champs games. Now on the screen you can see I played three games in champs scored two goals and got two assists so let's head into the gameplay. Okay, so into the gameplay section we go. Benson on the penalty, tucking it away into the top right hand corner. Then Benson once again on his stronger left foot into Ferran Torres who heads it home. Now, they didn't class this as an assist. I put it in there anyway because it did result in a goal from Benson Cross. Then Perlo into Benson, who I thought actually lost it to Carlos there, but didn't. And then this is the final clip of the gameplay, so I'll be back with the pros and cons in a second. So now that you've seen the gameplay for Benson, moving on to the pros. First of all is his pace, now he was incredibly fast, even without boosting his pace, 93 pace was very very good. Shooting was actually quite decent. With a marksman he has 96 shot power and 99 long shots, so definitely try and take a shot from outside the box. Passing, very very good. Now he supposedly only has 83 crossing, but it did actually feel a lot lot better than that. His passing in general was actually very, very good. Dribbling was incredible, just incredibly agile on the ball. With the marksman, it gives him 99 dribbling, 98 ball control. His lowest stat is his 84 composure. And finally, he has five star skill moves and a four star weak foot. Onto the cons for Benson. First of all, is his 88 strength with a marksman. Now, it sounds good on paper, but in reality, it's just really, really poor. He felt incredibly weak, and I genuinely think it's down to the fact that he's 5'5", five five, so he just gets bullied regardless of his strength. And then his second con is actually his work rates. So he does actually have high, high work rates, which I would normally praise, but because of the way that it works in the 4-3-3 fourth variation him tracking back was actually really detrimental to me playing forwards so yes he's good at getting forward and back but in the 4-3-3 fourth variation I want my wingers to basically just stay forward so on this occasion high high work rates is actually a negative so would I recommend completing moments Benson and in my opinion, I would say yes. So his SBC is coming in at around 30,000 coins, which I think is quite cheap, especially as a lot of people will have untradeable 83s and 84s. Then looking at the card, he's got good pace, good shooting. He's got very good passing. It's actually a lot better in game than his stats suggest. Dribbling is incredible. Then he's got the 5 star 4 star combo which a lot of people will enjoy. And for me when looking at Prem wingers, he's actually one of the better ones considering his price. So for me, I definitely think you should be completing Benson. Personally I think you should actually complete all three of them. But that will take you a couple more weeks just because of the way they've done the repeatable nature of the SBC which is just stupid. But regardless, I think Benson's a very good player. Whether you use him as a super sub or a starter, he'll be very, very good. And I would highly recommend completing him. I'd like to thank you for watching this player review. 
If you did enjoy it, drop a like, hit that subscribe button if you're new. But for now, I'll see you in the next one.